Yo, what up is done. Family here. Soul Brothers back up in it. Yes. Versus video. Curry versus Harden. Ooh, both really good performers. I love playing both of the shoes very, very, very much. And super minimal. Uh, they look pretty much the same too, I, I guess. Or as both, as lows, like, both lows. Both you lows. Know. So we thought it would be a good versus video. And price is pretty similar. The Harden Volume 3 is 140 bucks, And that is uh, the Curry 6 is 130 So $10 price difference. So let's get started with the Traciones. Ooh, very, very interesting. Uh, so on the clean court, they're both really, really good. Very, very hard stops. You have a herringbone traction pattern on the Harden Volume 3, which basically it's, it's, it's a herringbone throughout the entire outsole. The Curry 6 is more of a, it, it, very weird. Like, yeah, it's multi-directional lines. I guess. Uh, you got some circling and then you have some pegs and there's a lot of different stuff going on here. Yeah. Um, and there's different layers to it as well. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. And it is, this colorway is a semi-translucent. Yes. Uh, but it definitely bites. Uh, but the durability is the biggest issue here with the Curry's. Yeah, I mean the I kind of feel like I could just pull this off almost. I know, dude. It's, That's kind of crazy. It's horrible, man. Uh, yeah, the design of this uh, forefoot outsole is very, very weird. I mean, when you're moving laterally, you're, you're putting so much torque on one of these sides that it can rip off, and it did. Yes. To Sammy, so. Exactly. And the Harden Volume 3 rubber is really soft, too. And I, I would think the rubber or durability on this for outdoor use would be really bad as well on the Harden Volume 3, but the 6 is just... I've never seen anything as... I think this is worse than the Kobe 360, dude. Yeah. It has to be worse than 360s, man. Because the durability also isn't good just with the uh, uh, rubber compound it's just like, by itself. It's, like it's spraying. spraying. It's spraying off already like just from indoor use. It's really, really soft rubber. So, uh, yeah, durability, hard and volume three for the win. Um, on the clean court, I give it a tie. Dusty court, I don't know. I, I, I think the Curry 6 picks up a little bit less dust. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the hard and volume three picks up a little bit more. But it's still good if you just wipe. I give the win to the Curry 6 for dust just by a little bit. Um, but yeah, since we do play only indoors, just on performance, I, it's really hard, man. Uh, I, maybe the Curry 6 for the win because it is a little bit better on dust. Uh, like it is a top performing traction, you know, in both of the shoes, you know, especially the Curry 6 and the Hardings. But uh, are, we, are we putting durability into account? You got just to. because it is so bad in you the 30s, you know? So just because of that, we give it to the Hardings, you know? All right, moving on to the cushion, the cushion. hover versus boost. Uh, Under Armour starting to implement hover, which we're a fan of in their basketball shoes, but it's been a little bit lackluster for us. Not a little bit, like yeah, a, lot a lot of it, man. Yeah. Especially comparing to the runners. If you guys have ever tried the Sonics or the Phantoms, like the Sonic, it's it's so nice. It's yeah, it's like responsive, but there's a little bit of like. Compression is soft, plush, like it feels super duper nice, you know? Yeah, I feel like they could take something like that very similarly. Yeah. And just transfer it into a basketball silhouette. Because it's like not too soft, yeah. it's not too mushy or anything. You're not going to lose any response time. So why, why can't you do something like that instead of stiffening it up like in the Curry 6 and like the Hover Habits. But anyways, I digress. The Curry 6 is a lot stiffer than the, the Hardens. Like the Hardens, there's a lot more compression. It's a lot softer and stuff like that but still like really responsive and i would say the harden volume 3 has a little bit better of a court feel as well impact protection i give it probably a, a tie so yeah for me i like the harden volume 3 overall setup better the curry 6 um is just more responsive and um impact protection is just okay so yeah overall harden volume 3 is better for me moving on to the materials though uh, you have a primate material in this colorway they have they have different materials. They have a leather material. They have like a mesh. Um, so they have different materials for the Harden Volume 3. But this colorway is basically a lined, you know, kind of layered primate material, which is really nice. It feels premium in hand. It feels super soft on foot. It is a, a, a good amount thicker than the Curry 6 though. Like the Curry 6 is paper thin. Yeah, very thin. Paper thin, you know. If you, if you guys have ever seen the Epic React, it feels just as thin as that. Yeah. But I guess with like a little bit of an underlaying material in it yeah. throughout the entire upper so. Um, but yeah, with, uh, in hand, I would say the Harden feels a lot more premium. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, just as far as feeling and, and maybe even looks, yeah, the hards do look and feel a little bit more premium. Yeah. On foot though, they're, they're both really soft. The hardens do feel a little bit thicker, obviously. Mm -hmm. So if you like a thin material, go with the Curry 6. I don't really mind. I, I like how they feel on, on my foot on both of the shoes. So uh, on foot, I give it a tie, but just like looking at it and feeling it in hand, I give the win to the Hardens. Right. Uh, moving on to fit. Fit, go true to your Adidas size for the Hardens and go down half a size for the Curry 6. They both fit pretty narrow and um, I would say the Curry 6 is a little bit tighter in the toe area than the Hardens. So yeah, so that's probably the only diff major difference there. But other than that, they're both really good fits for my foot. Putting it on, like what's easier to put on the Curry 6 is a lot. I mean, I don't know man, the Hardens are still really easy to put on because it has a really big tongue and also a really big, I guess, pull tab. Um, or I guess heel tab, heel tab yeah. um, but I don't know just like being able to stretch the knit and just slide it in like a slipper on the, in the curry six it just feels super nice mm -hmm. so uh, just a little uh, I guess bonus there for the curry sixes support and lockdown I, I give the win to the harden just a little bit just on the lateral containment you know lateral containment in the harden volume three is good the curry six I felt a little bit of stretching nothing horrible but just a little bit so yeah, hard run through for the win there, especially if you're a bigger guy and you need a little bit more support there. So uh, I wonder which one is wider. I mean, companies have been making really wide shoes. So yeah, they're both really, really wide. I th I'd say it's around the same. Around the same there. So you're going to be stable laterally. Uh, so there's that. Moving on to the weight, we already know which one's lighter. Yeah, the, uh, the, the curries are like 10.8. 10 10.8, yeah. The hardens are going to be heavier for sure. Yes, yeah, so 13.8 ounces for the hardens. Ooh. Yeah, so that's like what, 3 ounces? Yeah. So, yeah, definitely the Curry 6 feels a lot lighter on foot. But minimal, I mean, the hardens are still pretty minimal. I, I would say it just feels a little bit heavier on foot because I guess the materials are a little thicker and you have like premium touches like the leather, like the metal, like logo right yeah. there. I don't know why they add that. It's yeah. Just, you know, too much material, you know? Makes and the strap heavy. is kind of unnecessary, right? Yeah, and also this leather panel. So yeah. um, that does add a little bit of weight to the shoe, but it still feels pretty minimal. And, you know, it's like not too puffy or anything, you know? Yeah. Um, so there's that. And also what feels more responsive while playing? I don't know. I, I tie it up. Like both the tractions are really good. Responsive cushions, supportive materials, and good fits make the shoe feel really light while you're playing. So um, yeah, they're both really good for responsiveness. Um, overall comfort, part of volume three. Um, the materials are super comfortable on foot for both of the shoes, but the boost is a lot more comfortable just for casually walking around in. So I picked the hard volume threes for casual use. Um, and then breaking time. Breaking time, uh, the hardings, really no breaking time. It's good right out of the box. Uh, the curries, the, the hover does break in just a little bit. It gets a little bit softer once you keep playing in it. And the, the materials are a little stiff um, because there, there is a little bit of underlaying material. And when, if there is underlaying material, there is glue um, usually involved. So uh, that does get a little bit softer. So yeah, Harden Volume 3 doesn't really need any breaking time. Durability? Uh, yeah, obviously. The Curry 6 is not going to be any, any shoe through. Really. You don't say. Yeah, I mean, the Kobe, maybe the Kobe 360s. Yeah, I still pretty, don't know. Those are, yeah. Both those those didn't like uh, kind of, catastrophically break down. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, they're definitely not durable. Now, uh, ventilation. Ventilation. Curry 6. The Hardy Volume 3, the materials are a little bit thicker. Curry 6 is really good ventilation, so. Aesthetics. Ooh. Curry 6. Hardings. I love the Hardings. Alright. Um, Dude, I saw a lot. I've been seeing a lot of people in these, man. In the Hardings? I, yeah, I, really? I've seen like at least six guys. There's some dope colorways coming the past around. Past few days, yeah, in the Harding Bond 3. So I was like, yeah. mm, interesting, right? So, anyways, um, wrapping things up, 140 bucks for you versus 130 bucks. I mean, the Curry 6, if it didn't have any durability issues, it's is it still like a really really nice performer? I love playing in that, and I love playing in the Hardy Volume Three. Very similar, they're low tops, very responsive, minimal shoes. Um, but just because of that durability, I'm gonna have to give it to the Hardings. But what is the overall better performer? I still have to give it to the Hardings just because uh, the overall cushion I do like a little bit better. 
you know what I'm saying? Um, but they're both really similar, you know? So if they are both really similar and uh, that only lasts like a couple months versus this, I feel like the hardens are gonna last a lot longer than that, then just go with the heart, you know? But if you like curries and you just wanna wear curries um, for a few months and you can definitely go ahead and cop those, but you know, it's probably not gonna last the longest time. But anyways, that's a versus video. If you guys want to cop either of these, we'll leave links below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.